Hey, what's up guys? It's Flex and welcome back. One thing that I wasn't a fan of when I got this Audi A4 was the interior. I'm not really a big fan of the textured silver trim and also there's a lot of flat black plastic pieces all over the interior. And it's just really night and day when you compare my 2016 Mercedes C300 interior to this 2015 Audi A4 S-Line interior. But since I'm on a budget, there's really not a lot that I can do to it. However, I can definitely take the trim off and vinyl wrap it and that'll definitely enhance the look of it. But I found a better solution that looks better, installs a lot easier, and is still cost effective. So let me show you the products I'm installing and then we'll get to the install. So what I have here is an interior overlay kit. So let me walk you through each of these. These right here will cover the door trims. They have this nice uh, carbon fiber glossy finish. It looks really nice. And also I have these which will cover the window switches. And that one is for the dash trim. This will go around the screen. These are for the radio. And I also got this cool carbon cover for the shift knob. And this right here goes on the cup holder and it has this cool S-Line logo. I like that a lot. So on the steering wheel, I also have an S-Line insert for the bottom of the steering wheel. An overlay for the emblem and this steering wheel cover. So this is temporary until I can figure out what I want to do with the actual steering wheel. But this is actually really nice. So I got carbon up here in the bottom. Just look at that, looks really nice. And this leather or vinyl is actually super soft. So now let me go ahead and get these all installed on the car. So I'm gonna first start by doing the driver's side door. I'm gonna work on the trim and the window switch area. I'm gonna grab some isopropyl alcohol and I'm gonna wipe the area down so it's nice and clean. Now I'm gonna grab the overlay and I'm gonna peel back the red film so I can expose the double-sided tape. And I'm gonna grab my heat gun and heat it up so it's nice and sticky. And once it's nice and hot, I'm just gonna go ahead and stick it right onto the trim and apply pressure. And once that's installed, I can go ahead and repeat the same process for the window switch overlay. And here's just a close up of what it looks like. The quality is really nice and it actually fits really well. And it's the same thing for the window switch overlay as well. Now I'm gonna have to repeat the same process for all the overlays. For the shift knob, it actually comes with tape on both sides, but I put a bigger piece here just so it's nice and secure. Now let me show you the final product. 
There it is on the back door. Looks awesome. Also the other door. Let's go to the front. Here it is again. Looks great. Got the dash trim. Let me go inside. Got the whole center console, shift knob, and cup holder. The other door and the steering wheel. So I love the way it looks on the steering wheel. Everything just looks so much better. Yeah, I'm super happy the way it turned out. Well, there you have it. I really like the way it looks and it didn't cost me an arm and leg to do. And if you're interested in buying some of these parts and pieces for your car, I'll leave links in the description below. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you do hit like below, as always, make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time.